all right everybody welcome back to the channel if you're just joining in either way thank you for watching uh this video is um i guess more for ryan than anything but i'm sure other people will find it useful as well uh so this is a two-way spool setup for an alice chalmers uh d-series that wouldn't have the two-way spools um this is a well it's a factory add-on it was a added option that you could get with the tractors this one i actually installed after we bought the tractor well after dad bought it i installed this one um now one thing i want to start with here is uh you're doing this on a 14 so i'm gonna come over to the 14 you notice well get my bearings together here all right so you notice that you got two lines coming back on the there's a return line on these, all right? So where that return line runs to is right here, okay? So you're gonna need to add that line, which that's just a return, and there's a spot on the 14 to do that. That plug right there. This would be what you're looking at. No return line. Okay. So once you've added that return line, you have got, like I said, let me get my stuff together here. So this is that added return line right here. Okay. Which is gonna be hooked up to the spool. Okay, so you're gonna need one of these thingamajobbers right here, which you've already done the research and figured out what that is. All right. So now once you've got that and the return line mounted on there, which that'll just mount right onto the mounting bracket. Um, but anyway, get this from a antique, like a tractor salvage place or something like that. You should be able to find one, I don't know. Around here, I'd be able to find you one. If you can't, uh, let me know. But anyway, um, so now you got the second line. I'll try to get it so that you can see this stuff in fashion here. You got the second line that runs to that back. You've got your in line, which would which would be the one that you have right here is the one that you have, which then would tee into that, run up to the spool to feed the spool. So then these. <clears throat> Um, the way this one is, if I can find it, here we are, there we go. So then you've got them two right here. Then them are going to be your two ways. Now I'm just trying to get it so that you can see where they're attached. Um which there's a plug in this one, you can make this a two-way as well. Uh, now don't mark my words on this, but I think that this one would work with this one as the two-way valve, but I'm not, I'm not positive on that. I've never hooked it up like that. Uh, but just thinking about how that spool works, I'd imagine it. I don't know, don't mark my words on that, but you can have at least two two-ways. And then, uh, basically, instead of raising and lowering with this lever, then, basically hydraulics on, hydraulics off. So, you know, you want to make sure that your stop or your catch works for that. Um, yeah, then it's... That's your spools. Lift arms and everything is all right there because it's all controlled through all of this. And as you can see, this is what comes over to control your lift arms, which is why you're gonna need that so that you can get the lift arms to work properly. Um, yeah, I hope this explains it all. Uh, this one I just mounted on there very simply with a piece of angle iron. 
really nothing too special. This thing needs a bath. Don't judge me. So anyway, yeah, that's, uh, I think that about concludes that. Like I said, it's just pretty simple. The, these are all pipe threads. So once you know, once you pull that plug out there, it's just standard pipe threads. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you for watching.